Baltimore City's mayor and police commissioner met with community members tonight for the first of two town hall style forums about the newly amended curfew law. The new rules will go into effect on August the 8th. 11 News reporter Kai Ree joined us live from City Hall with more details. And Kai, these changes have been pretty controversial. Well, definitely, Stan. And community members packed that meeting at Morgan State University tonight. There really wasn't an empty seat in the auditorium. And one thing that the mayor and other city leaders and police kept trying to stress is their insistence that this curfew law is about helping kids, not criminalizing them. What is the oversight procedures that will be in place to, to make sure that this program is operating properly? Many of the questions from community members at the first curfew forum were about how the law will be enforced. Is it just Fells Point or is it East Baltimore? The new law goes into effect on August 8th. That means that kids under 14 have to be in by 9 p.m. and 14 to 16 year olds have to be in by 10 on school nights and by 11 on weekends and during summer break. My concern is our uh, Baltimore City Police Department going to get additional training for a healthy interaction with our young people. Some opponents believe that the law makes kids feel like criminals, while supporters say it's about protecting kids and connecting them with vital resources. If a child is in distress and they leave the home or the place where they live, wherever it may be, and they have nowhere to go, isn't it a compassionate and a good thing that those centers exist to care for the needs of the child in distress. I think a lot of young kids in the city is going to suffer from it. We couldn't come up with the money to keep the recreation centers open, but yet we can come up with the money to keep the recreation centers open to house these kids when you take them off the street. So I don't understand that. There has been a curfew law in Baltimore City for decades. Before these new changes, curfews for kids under 17 were set for 11 on weeknights and midnight on weekends. Curfew violators will go to a youth connection center, a place for kids to be connected with social service reps if necessary. Parents of violators could face fines of up to $500. What we're trying to do is not give a record, not to impact, but make sure our children get home safely. And we're also making parents accountable for their children. We're not going to turn a blind eye to children that we know are in harm's way. We're not going to turn a blind eye to children we know who are causing harm. And now you heard one mother ask about whether or not police were going to be trained to help deal with, with young kids in a, in a positive way. And the police commissioner asked, answered that question. He said that officers are consistently in training. The next uh, for, forum is on Tuesday, July 29th at 7 o'clock. That that's at the University of Baltimore Law Center. Reporting live at City Hall, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.